Thank you. That saves a lot of time. Um, good to see you all here. Um, uh, yes, we did a full test um, uh, anal full test analysis, and it isn't that bouncing. That costs a lot of time. There we are. Um, uh, so we know that uh, fluid fill system is standard, and there is an alternative. Just uh, to, uh, to uh, for instance, um, uh, prevent artifacts. Both systems have advantages and disadvantages, and it's not yet unraveled what, what, what's one and what's the other. And, and uh, here is a list of articles that, uh, that uh, try to compare and try to understand what are the differences and similarities. And uh, there has been a discussion about, on the basis of this, uh, this literature, what is the implication for good geodynamic practice. And also, we have been forced by this situation, by the new system, to think about what happens in the water field system, in the ICS standard system. So it learns a lot about geodynamics. So we know there is differences, but what precisely are the differences is, is not, not really clear. And we did this study. I, I presented already results in Florence. Um, had to had um, uh, one and another pair of catheters inserted after ethical board review. Um, those uh, is what the result, this is one of the results that I get: uh, fluid filled, air filled, and you see the typical tube wagging artifact from the first, uh, the first abstract that was presented in the fluid uh, system, and that is lacking in the in the air filled system. So, uh, but what you also see is that there are, uh, let's say, baseline differences between uh, the pressures measured in, in all four, but also in the same uh, place. This is physical and this is, um, uh, or the, 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 the green lines are physical and the red lines are uh, rectal. And you see that there are differences between those. Uh, I must attend you on the fact that the zero is there and the zero is there. So they are zeroed uh, to atmosphere uh, properly, but then you get the differences. So I already presented, as I said, here's one patient and begin cough and if you begin with a negative pressure difference, that is taken forward to uh, to the end of the system tree. These are all the patients, and if, if you begin positive, you end positive um, in the system tree. So it seems that the differences are carried forward throughout the whole study. But this is, this is of, of course, only a few moments in the system tree. I used um, uh, Urology London uh, to show a few other moments in the system tree, and basically uh, the same effect. There are differences, uh, not frequently large, but uh, at the start of the systometries, the differences were carried forward throughout the end uh, of the of the system, throughout the end uh, the entire systometry. So the precision of the um, uh, both system may be similar, but that was a hypothesis. Uh, but the offset differences occur. So uh, after good zeroing, and uh, I decided to compare all the samples of the whole systometry, and that's that's more than ten thousand samples per pressure trace. And I was going to compare vesicle versus vesicle, air versus fluid, etc., etc. And then I had those baseline differences, and I said, okay, if I go to correct those baseline differences, what's going to happen? What are the differences left then? So I equalized those after, um, uh, and, and, and this is, read. please read, after um, uh, effects after zeroing. Uh, so uh, calculate differences, correlation, and calculate time shift. That was uh, basically what I had to do. An area under the curve. That's what I did. So if you see the same uh, systometry, and I now projected um, a vesicle abdominal pressure on top of each other uh, in different uh, pressure scales, you will see that they very much overlap. And Within the truther, you see some differences. They augment if, if they are negative. So you see uh, within the range of five centimeters of water that also the truther is very similar after um, um, uh, affecting, uh, fading out the effect after zeroing. So that's one. Uh, th there's mathematics and I measured cross correlation of all, this, all the pressure shadows, um, uh, channels and I saw a correlation of, of 
extremely high, almost almost the same uh, should be the conclusion. So, and then I question, is there a time shift between the two uh, systems? So I, I, I fiddled around with the pressures. What was the best correlation? And the time shift is basically zero or zero seconds and basically less than the, than the time between two samples of, of 20 hertz. So, then you get, this is easier to understand, this is one pressure channel or two in, in one systometry. And there's, there's almost 10,000 uh, pressure samples overlapping. But there's a few um, out of the range, and I'll come back to that. So all, there's a very, very high correlation of the total amount of samples, but no evidence for, and no evidence for a sy systematic response time difference. So. But you can see that although there is a very high correlation, uh, the high pressures are the most challenging. So that are the cuffs. So we did specific analysis of the uh, analysis of the cuffs. And here are two cuffs out of 68. And you see the similarities. And I will concentrate on some differences. We saw significant differences in the amplitude and Peter, the width. If you can go to the I'm always there. But yeah. we saw <laughs> that the area under the curve is very similar. And that me means that the total amount of pressure measured is very, very similar. So fluid is slightly steeper and slightly faster with its effect on the trusor pressure. And you could question is air damped or is fluid under damped? So, uh, here's an example of, of where air is not underdamped. So when baseline differences are corrected, there's a high overall co correlation, uh, correlation between both symptoms and um, uh, also in cough pressures. So baseline difference may explain earlier observations and there's a reason for those baseline differences. However, the measurement capability of both systems is very similar. Thank you. I made it. Maybe one one question and one quick answer. Andrew. Yeah, so it's a race to the microphone. I cannot promise a quick answer. <laughs> um, thank you, Peter. It's great to see more data in this issue. Um, in our study, we did correct for that zeroing, and we measured change from the starting values, and they're still different. So the issue is not correlation, but it's actually what's the spread. The urologist who operates on my, my ears and my feet is on average doing a good job, but I'm very concerned about the spread of their activity. So we need to know what is the Bland-Altman spread, and, and that's still a concern. I, we don't know why. So again, this, this provokes new research questions, okay. and we, we should put them in the... In, uh, we should continue to analyze what, what is the, the cause and the effect of the difference and the similarities and, and what is the cause of the spread that you are referring to. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We, 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 we would continue.